Hey, how'd this get on video? What is going on? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's still morning time. So, I'm at the car dealer. I'm waiting for my car to get washed. I brought it in today because they had it last week. I keep hearing noises. Um, apparently, I hear things. I, I, I see dead people. No. <laughs> but seriously, I hear things that no one else hears. But I guess so. I drive my car every single day, right? And of course, I go on a road test with the actual um, the foreman, and the car makes zero noises. So I'm just here. I came all the way to Long Island from Brooklyn and nada. So I'm waiting for my free car wash and then we're gonna head to Trader Joe's and Target, uh, the runs that we did not get to make yesterday. And I apologize um, because Bay, Bay Fail did not, um, actually take any footage of us while we were in the mall like we said we would so um yeah we don't actually have any mall footage just the stuff that we actually purchased from the mall which i can show you guys uh later on today when i when i get back um i'm not feeling my best today but you know because i had already had the appointment i got up and i came out but I probably will have a short vlogging day today just because I do not feel 100% uh, and I would like to get a little rest before I have to go back to work tomorrow so yeah right now we're just waiting they're cleaning the car up and I wish that they would hurry up so I can actually leave because I want to go lay down Mm. He loves giving me kisses. <laughs> Babe, this is YouTube. You gotta keep it PG. <laughs> it tickles! It's my baby. Y'all can't have her. Yeah, he's stingy. That's what he told me. <laughs> oops, oops. Don't be trying to thumb me out the video. <laughs> Oh. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're waiting. We're doing absolutely nothing here except watching cars go in and out. So we will check back in at Trader Joe's. Hello, world. Welcome to Target. It was so awkward. Where's the kitchen stuff? Why is it awkward? He's like, not much of a talker, guys. That's why. And I don't take selfies, so staring at myself is weird. We got selfie queen over here. I don't take a lot of selfies. I don't think I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, these are cute. They're probably not made of much of anything. <gasps> Why don't they have the Gemini one? They should have a Gemini one. They have an Aries one. That's right. No, not anything interesting. <laughs> the best papa in the world. That's him. <laughs> so is this where I would find a cleaver? Mm -hmm. I feel like <laughs> this ain't KitchenAid. Little baby mixer. Well, we're all like the utensils and stuff. 
It's the car stuff. Ooh, they have more over here. Oh. Sneak off and look at the car stuff. I should get some cleaning stuff for my car. My car needs a wash. Base car just got washed. I'm being summoned. Yes. I found one. See, it says Gemini's. We are inquisitive and restless. This is very true. <laughs> it's because our minds are always going. We can never stop <laughs> and actually rest. So, yeah. I know. I've been up since 3 a.m. <laughs> this is true. Aw. I should get you one of these. This is cute. You're my person. Motivation in a mug. That one says you're my person. <laughs> you're my person, babe. Damn. Oh, they do have more than one. Just poking me in the face. I poked you. Sorry. A little bit. In the chin. In the chinny chin chin. Because my nails are sharp. What is this made out of? Porcelain. Just like the throne. I'm gonna get this. So this is definitely an impulse buy, but when you see stuff like this, like you just have to get it. When you see something, say something. That's what I always say. Oh, that's cute, mom. Of course, I'm distracted by the tools, guy stuff, home improvement projects. What should I do? What should I do? Garbage cans. Oh, be careful. Are you okay? Yeah, I thought that was a full show. What just happened? <laughs> That's not nice, babe. That's not nice. I don't know what just happened. Oh, well, she was trying to turn the cart around and she fell into the show. Oh, I couldn't see. That's why I was... <laughs> you acted she was okay. I didn't see what happened. Yeah. That's the lid. What, this one here? Mm -hmm. It's not exactly black. It says, look, I lock. So, that is, is that the lid? Nope. The lid. That might go to this gray one. Definitely not. This is matched to base B. Matched to lid F. What the hell is lid F? It should look like the one we already have. Well, this is lid N. Well, how do they never have the lid? Like, that's what I don't understand. Doesn't make any sense. It should never be this challenging to search for a trash can. I'm like convinced people just steal the tops because they won't actually let you just purchase the top. All we need is a top. You can't buy the top without the can and you can't find the top to match the cans that they have. What kind of sense does that make? It's crazy. Is that this? I definitely this is, uh, like this. Is match to base up. I think this is this. Huh. Yeah, I don't like that. What is that? That's it's annoying. not that I don't like it. I just see a lot of food ending up on the lid. Mm hmm. This is actually cool. Yep. Like, you don't have to worry about 
the uh, the lock mechanism breaking, but hold on, hey, hold this. Well, maybe I should just order. Like I saw it. I think they have like Target. Have it on Target.com. The problem is it costs more than we actually paid for it. So like one of those things like I want to find it for the same price that I I don't think it's destined to happen today, so can we just continue on because I don't want to be in these stores all day. Want to be nice. But the thing that I was looking for, I can't find it before it gets even more left back. Oh, excuse me. Can I ask a question? Where would... I feel like I'm looking at a map. Where would I find like like cooking utensils? Cooking utensils. Back wall. Yeah, back wall. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, we are back. Um, I'm a little out of breath. I just came upstairs, um, just got a package. So we actually just came back from Trader Joe's. We didn't get a chance to vlog in Trader Joe's uh, because we were in a little bit of a rush. Everything took a little longer than expected, um, more specifically with my car. So that kind of pushed everything else back a little bit. And Aaron had an appointment to get to at three o'clock. So we ended up getting to Trader Joe's about, I want to say 1230-ish. So we were out of there. It took us about like an hour in there. And um, <sighs> yeah, so we were rushing, trying to grab everything. Um, he was getting a little impatient with me. So I just kind of had to hurry up there. But we are back and we got some some produce some good healthy stuff here to um to to kind of get summer ready and then you know it's fruit season tropical fruit season and we are loaded up on fruits which should last for about like the next 2 weeks or so um he's not big on eating like a lot of like excess like stuff um food you know an occasional snack he'll enjoy some fruits you know if i like put them in front of him or you know if it's just like a craving but unlike me uh he's not really like a, a snacker so i'm a snacker i love to have things like fruits and you know, like granola bars um i like the bad snacks too i try not to keep those in the house because yeah when you get in those modes um they, they tend to become a little more than snacks. So, you know, I try not to keep those here, but you know, on occasion, I do like to enjoy a snack or two. <sighs> so um, I'm gonna start unloading the bags and I'll show you guys a little bit of what we got. All right, so you guys can see the watermelon here. Um, I was very excited about this watermelon season and being able to crack that open so we got some uh yogurt here um i like to get the organic plain like whole milk yogurt uh european style and then we also get um some french vanilla french vanilla flavored um organic whole milk yogurt i actually like the plain one to eat aaron likes the uh, french vanilla to make like overnight oats with um, something I haven't really gotten into. I do think they are good, but it's never something that I crave. So um, he kind of eats that as opposed to me. 
I got me some pomegranate seeds, which I'm looking forward to um, dabbling in. These are really expensive. These cost $4.99 for this little thing. Um, they do last a little while, but, you know, worth it for that little, like, reward buy. Those are not something that I actually purchase every time we go. Got a papaya here. Um, these are actually really good in Trader Joe's. And then I got two cases of the strawberries because they're, like, humongous so i thought that was like ugh, made my made me raise an eyebrow and i was like oh, i gotta get these so i actually bought two of those then we have some um unsalted butter quarters um so i actually like the trader joe's brand for that um i do like to buy unsalted butter so that i can control the amount of salt that we're taking in um and you know what's going into my food I try to use uh, seasonings that you know do not contain salt but you know occasionally you can't avoid it but um, I am like very heavy-handed with the seasoning I need my food to have uh, flavor so you know by the time you build in um, the amount of seasoning that I would typically like with seasoning that actually is pre-salted um, the dish will, you know, likely be way too salty. So I prefer to get my seasonings without salt, my butter without salt, and then I can actually, you know, season to my liking and then add a little dab of salt to actually pull out those flavors. Um, we got some creamy almond butter, which is going to be great for snacking. Um, also, you know, a little spin on our smoothie. So we actually do like to drink smoothies uh, in the morning. For me, um... I like smoothies I prefer them in like the warmer weather but uh, just for like health purposes and you know building additional protein into my diet I've been trying to drink them more uh, because I don't eat red meat at all and um, I don't like to eat like pre ground meat so you know my meat diet is very uh, I will say limited you know, I do eat fish, I do eat chicken, um, I eat turkey, you know, I like, I love pork. I know some people think that's like completely backwards, uh, but I love pork chops, I love bacon, but obviously you have to eat those things in moderation, so I can't just eat pork and bacon all the time or, you know, ribs and pork chops. So I do try to supplement my diet for um, where I know I'm lacking pr protein on or the amount of protein that I need with uh the shakes and you know additional like superfood items like chia seeds or you know something like a flax seed where or even vitamins you know multivitamins where i can um add in those additional nutrients that i may be lacking i also got some organic sour cream uh this is something that i actually like to keep on hand I don't make a lot of potatoes or anything that requires like really sour cream, but you sour cream has so many uses. Um, the main thing I like to use this for is to actually uh, put in my eggs. So when I scramble eggs, I actually, instead of adding milk now, I used to add milk. But instead of adding milk, I actually add sour cream. It makes the eggs uh, a lot creamier and uh, it keeps them from browning. You know, I'm, I'm a little picky when it comes to food. And I don't like eggs with brown bits in them. You know, sorry if anyone, uh, you know, prefers to have their eggs that way. You know, that's, you know, up to you how you like to enjoy your food. But for my personal preference, I do not like eggs um, that, you know, have any, the slightest bit of brown in them. So I find that this actually is really good with keeping the eggs creamy, preventing them from burning. And um, they make really, really fluffy, fluffy eggs. And then one other thing that we actually like to get from Trader Joe's is this uh, uncured pepperoni pizza. So this is something um, I actually really like from them. You definitely can taste the difference in this pizza in, um, than you would in any other like, you know, supermarket, like purchase pizza. It tastes a lot fresh, fresher. Um, the pepperonis, you know, with them being uncured, they definitely taste a lot fresher. Um, this is probably one of the best frozen pizzas that I've ever, I've ever had. Um, definitely recommend this and this is something I get every single time I go to Trader Joe's typically this will be like a very lazy night meal for us or um, you know Fridays takeout in our house so sometimes like we don't necessarily want to spend the extra money on takeout especially because our food budget is pretty extensive 
Um, so we'll just like pop one of these in the oven, have some salad with it or something, and yeah, that'll be our takeout substitution. One of the things we buy every time we go, some organic baby spinach. Um, Aaron actually likes to eat these with his salads. With his salads, um, I prefer like cooked spinach if it's going to be fresh spinach or from time to time I'll actually drop these into like one of my smoothies. But he actually likes to eat salads with this. Um, I personally prefer you know, spring mix, so I buy like a bag of this. Um, sometimes I'll buy like one or two bags of the spinach depending on you know how much salad he's feeling like he's going to eat um, or you know if he I know he's going to eat salad and then I also want to actually cook some um, because the spinach typically condenses down to almost nothing so I'll maybe buy like a second bag if I know I'm going to make something that requires me to actually put some like fresh spinach in it um, we also bought lettuce I'm actually going to make him uh, some tacos today uh, we were supposed to have them on Friday on actually Saturday as a part of our takeout but, um, what ended up happening Saturday? Oh, boy. Um, I don't even remember what ended up happening Saturday as to why I didn't uh, make the uh, tacos. So, yeah. That didn't happen, but I'm going to make that happen tonight. Uh, I'm not really feeling, like I said, 100%. So, tacos are something, like, really quick, really easy that I can throw together. He'll have that. Um, we actually went out yesterday, like, for the uh we went to the mall we didn't get to do any errands but you know um we ended up having takeout yesterday as opposed to saturday because um we were out and you know by the time we were done i wasn't feeling my best and i obviously didn't feel like cooking so i'm gonna do saturday's meal tonight um we actually have leftovers from yesterday's food so you know, up to him what he wants to eat. He probably will eat the tacos tonight and then end up taking like his leftovers yesterday for lunch tomorrow so that we don't end up wasting any money, you know, when we're out and about at work, um, spending, you know, 10, 15 bucks on lunch. We try to actually avoid that as much as possible and um, eat at home, not only for financial purposes, but even just for like general health and um, just overall taste. You know, I cook a very specific way and I think even he who is um, not not very picky at all, he has gotten accustomed to just the way I cook. So, um, you know, while he may eat some stuff like here and there out, he <laughs> he's very lackluster now with um, eating like other foods. And he's just like, yeah, like it's not your food, babe. <laughs> so um, I like to actually cook a lot of stuff from scratch, like from a natural state. And once you get used to eating like that, you know, it's very hard to find um, food that's like pleasing to the palate. Unless it's like a restaurant or something or, you know, we're going out to like an upscale like place or like there are specific, you know, places that I actually just love to go um, that, you know, my palate will never change for. But other than that, you know, like even coming down to just eating at friends' houses, you know, I'm very uh, particular, you know, nothing against anyone, um, love my friends, but I'm just used to eating the way that I cook and, you know, knowing that I take extra care in not just you know what we eat but how it's prepared um i'm i'm not really quick to jump to um eat at you know uh just eat anywhere so um yeah that is why we you know shop the way we do um i try to cook as much as i possibly can you know i'm human it's a real life i work uh just like he does you know uh, my job is very demanding and sometimes, you know, I just don't feel like it, you know, sometimes time doesn't permit and sometimes you just don't feel like it. So, you know, I'm trying to get him into uh, more and more, you know, like cooking uh, little things here and there. So I'll give him like some of my recipes and then, you know, if he's following the recipe, like he doesn't mind actually like cooking. But, you know, just so that, you know, if I don't feel up to it or something keeps me, you know, um, away from home longer than I intended it to he can actually um, put something you know light together for us to eat and we don't end up having to spend additional money um, like I said we spend you know 
a significant amount of money on food. Um, part of it being, you know, just because we like to eat, I like to make our home comfortable so that we can have the things that we like to eat here. And then if I get a craving for something, I'm not having to run out and actually buy it. You know, the other piece is just, um, the grade of food that you know I try to buy for us to actually have you know it tends to be a little bit more expensive than you know um, like local like supermarket shopping so you know our food budget is pretty extensive even though by I guess the measure of I think it's the like the FDA or something or you know the US government agriculture department they have um, the the current average like household budget based on the number of people um we kind of laughed at this a little bit because you know for two people on a like middle class uh to upper middle class income the budget on a monthly basis is roughly around like six or seven hundred dollars um you know we oftentimes do not spend anywhere near that um our food budget is roughly our food budget is three hundred dollars a month you know um there there are quite a few times that we end up going over that but if we do go over it's really not much more this month was a little bit different because there were certain things that we actually had to like order um that we ran out of and um you know i went to the supermarket earlier in the month and you know they had some like really good sales on some like side items so i was like okay while they have a sale let me actually just stock up on these things so this month um we've definitely gone over our food budget significantly but we were we were anticipating that you know i kind of let him know at the beginning of the month i was like or actually last month i was like you know babe we're gonna end up going like you know way over our budget you know we need some extra things here this month but um, I think at this particular point, we're probably somewhere around like the five to five hundred and fifty dollar mark for the month. Um, but you know, obviously, going into like the warmer months, our budget, our food budget, actually will likely not even be the normal three hundred dollars that we spend. But I was saying that according to this agriculture site, um, you know, based on what we spend, we're technically uh, at poverty level eating. Um, you know according to what they they say you know per week you should be spending on a meal or per month um for two people in a you know in a household so i was like i thought that was actually kind of crazy when i found out that you know we were like spending probably half of what you know the the average couple in our income bracket would spend on food and i was like i think it's completely insane you know for us like every single month to spend 600 or 700 bucks on food. I was like, I, I just don't see us eating that much food. You know, I think we eat a lot. I think we both think that we eat a lot. But, you know, even with some of the choices that we make, you know, um, it may happen maybe once every, I don't know, maybe once every like four months, we'll, you know, kind of inch toward that like five fifty, six hundred dollar $600 mark. But every single month to spend like six or seven hundred dollars on food, I think that is like completely and utterly ridiculous. Um, I think I would, you know, I would have to change some some more of my eating habits, you know, before I would even allow that to become a thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, shout out to, you know, anyone that, you know, for a two two person family that has that kind of budget, you know, God bless your heart. Um, it's not even about the finances and being able to do it. Uh, I just think it's like utterly insane. You know, I am not cooking every single day of my life. Um, I think that, you know, may make sense to me if it was like we eating fresh small meals and everything was, you know, like fish or every single thing that we ate was like organic or, you know, like natural things, produce that you have to replace like pretty much constantly. But even for the two of us, um, I... I set up our produce in a way that, you know, essentially it's like kind of like a canning method. So I'll like chop up everything, do food prep. Um, and once you actually like, you know, cut the stuff up, store it in like mason jars and such, um, you know, mason jars actually prolong the life. You put it in like, you know, your peppers and stuff with a little bit of water and then you put them in the refrigerator, you know, they'll last a good, you know, maybe two two and a half weeks so you don't have to worry about you know oh if I left the pepper out especially in the dead of summer here in New York you know vegetables will go bad in two or three days so you can't you can't leave them out you know if you're trying to work on preservation um 
but yeah I just I don't ever see myself being able to fathom and or reason <laughs> spending six to seven hundred bucks a month on food especially not for two people you know if we had like a family or something and it was maybe like four or five of us uh, maybe even six of us then you know that that sounds like more of a reasonable expectation because I think to feed one mouth on a monthly basis anywhere from a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars is pretty reasonable um, but you know there are people that have families that size that probably eat on the same budget that we do for two people so you know again I'm not knocking anyone if that is your food budget but I am just saying for me for my household for my personal preference and for you know my financial uh, and mental well-being I don't think that um, we will ever see that as a two-person household so we also got some uh, mini mini baby bell peppers um so these are like the extra sweet peppers um these are really really good love to uh put these in food i got two broccoli uh spares two fresh broccoli spares now um i'm the type of person i typically do buy my vegetables uh like frozen i'm starting to get into a little bit more of like the fresh because you know when you buy a produce like this you actually have to use them fairly quickly um so we may go to Trader Joe's like once every two weeks, once every two to three weeks. I'm trying to get in the habit of going more frequently so we can actually have fresher produce. But when it comes down to, you know, if I use all of these um, and I desire broccoli, you know, I still like to have the frozen on hand. That way, you know, it's something I don't have to worry about going bad as quickly and I can still have it available if I decide that I want it. Um, I bought celery. Uh, I don't actually like to eat the celery. But I do like to use this for like cooking foods, um, you know, making the mirepoix, mirepoix, um, the, you know, the onion, carrot, onion, I mean, onion, carrot, celery trifecta. So, you know, I do like to buy the celery from time to time. What I'm actually going to do with this is because I don't eat enough of it. Um, I always, almost always end up wasting at least like one spear of this. I'm actually going to cut it up uh, ahead of time and freeze some so that it's actually um, not being wasted. You know, I I hate wasting food, but it happens to us uh, quite frequently. And, you know, while it's typically stuff like this where like the cost is like so low, we may end up wasting a total of about 10 to 15 bucks worth of food in a month. Um, doesn't seem like a lot, you know, when the bulk of the food is getting used and or, you know, when you have the budget and it's just like, uh, I wasted some, you know, we weren't able to get to everything. Um, it still bothers me because it's something that happens, you know, more frequently than not. Uh, so it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I will use it eventually, um, all of it, but if I don't chop it up, which, you know, sometimes I don't always get to food prepping right away. I will put it in a refrigerator and then I feel lazy during the week or, you know, I don't have time during the week and then I end up um, kind of waiting too late and then, you know, it goes bad. So it's one of those things that actually does kind of bother me a little bit. So I want to make sure I actually chop these up, get them prepped, you know, for um, when I'm doing veg uh, dishes that require, you know, that onion, carrot, celery trifecta and they'll be there I won't have to worry about you know buying another one of these for some time and yeah so we got some celery and then typically what I'll buy I used to buy two red peppers two green peppers and maybe like one yellow or one orange pepper but then I would find that we would actually end up like wasting um you know like one at least one or two of the peppers so what I've kind of gone down to is just buying like one color pepper, like yellow or orange, um, one red pepper, one green pepper. And these actually tend to last probably like the whole two weeks, uh, maybe two and a half. So I feel good about buying the one. And in this time, you know, I bought the mini sweet ones. So, you know, we'll have both of those. But these will last um, as long as they get cut up like right away, either like today or tomorrow. And then um, I put them in like the uh, mason canning jars with a little bit of water we have some kiwi here and then we also have some um, teeny tiny avocados I am NOT a huge avocado eater um, Aaron likes these you know we, we buy them for him for the most part but what I am trying to do is get in the habit of actually eating them because they're really good for you 
and um, they actually are a great add to meals to make you uh, feel fuller longer. So I'm trying to get into the habit of actually eating them. Um, I do not like guacamole. I don't like avocados when other people make them. It is just something about like if I'm going to eat this, it has to be something that, you know, I put in something that I specifically like and they have to be, um, you know, made or mush up the way that I would mush them up with my own flavorings and seasonings. Otherwise, I am not going to eat these. And then um, some kiwis here. So kiwis are in season right now. These are really good uh, small bags from Trader Joe's. I think this costs like three bucks. You know, it's a lot for a couple of kiwis, but they are so good. They're so worth it. And, uh, you know, can't put a price on healthy eating. I went ahead and bought some like baby potatoes so potatoes are something that I really do like um, I'm trying to <laughs> uh, not eat them as much these days but you know we tend to buy the the big bag or like the two I mean a three or five pound bag of potatoes we rarely ever get through them and without without wasting a few so um, I tried doing like the baby potatoes um, for a recipe that I have in mind for this week so that I can make sure that they actually get used and you know they're not just sitting around lingering um, but I wanted to do some like maybe roasted or sauteed baby potatoes with some um, potentially some teriyaki salmon and some vegetables so I was like oh I want these to go with the salmon and that's why we picked these up today and then we have some um, two ears of fresh corn you know, this is like plenty for us for like a two week period. Um, if we're craving corn, you know, and in this season, corn is like amazing. Um, what I'll typically do is cut each one in half. So it'll make two for the both of us um, rather than like us just eating one whole one. Because I typically when I make these, I'm still making, you know, like a, a meal. This is just a part of a meal. So we don't actually need to eat the whole corn. And then we have some bananas. Um, I like to buy fresh bananas every time I go to the supermarket. So this is like one of the things that I may end up just picking up in the interim. Um, I buy the organic uh, bananas from Trader Joe's. Love to keep bananas on hand anytime, you know, I may have like one or two that goes like brown. I do try to catch them and actually just freeze them and use them for smoothies. Maybe like one, you know, will get to the point, one or two mats, We'll get to the point where they're past that, you know, like eating point. Um, you can use them for like baking and or like smoothies. So when they get to that point, I actually just like throw them in the freezer. Um, so that way we have like ready frozen bananas for like smoothies. Um, we like to make like peanut butter banana smoothies, um, peanut butter banana protein smoothies, or, you know, I'll make like a fruit smoothie or a fruit protein smoothie and just throw that in there with like some other fruits and some almond milk and or some like yogurt or something so um i buy bananas every time i go to like any supermarket because you know the likelihood in a couple of days these will be um too ripe to actually eat and then i'll be looking for more bananas to actually have as um like for me to actually consume so yeah i buy bananas each time we go to the market and then guys the last couple of things i got from trader joe's so i actually bought two pineapples um of course they looked at me like i was crazy i was like i want to uh because i like to cut them up as long as you don't leave it and let it sit and go bad pineapples like once they're cut you put them in the fridge um they can actually last about two weeks i've not had any issues with um pineapples going bad on me they're never in my house that long for them to go bad because they taste amazing um but you know cut up as long as you cut them up like you know within like a day or two of purchasing them put them in the refrigerator um, they should last roughly about you know two weeks <clears throat> and then I have here some mangoes so pineapples and mangoes are my two favorite fruits mango is my all-time favorite fruit but um, these are my two favorite fruits I do love these you know I love to have mangoes um, when they're in season like this is something it's just like one of those snacks that um, just kind of sends me to heaven <laughs> So I make sure to buy like a, a few of these. Um, Aaron does like mangoes also, you know, likely. I will probably eat three. He will probably eat one <laughs> if uh, unless I'm consciously, you know, just saving him some. So 
These are uh, like my go-to fruit. I freaking love mangoes. Uh, I can't even put it in any more words than that. And then sometimes what I do like to do with these is actually make like a mango salsa. So if we're having like, you know, maybe like jerk, um, jerk shrimp tacos or, you know, like grilled shrimp tacos, I'll make uh, a mango salsa to actually go with that. And that is something that tastes amazing. So that was everything that we got from Trader Joe's. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just put all of this stuff away. I think that was uh, for the most part it for everything that we went out to actually purchase today. Um, I actually just got a package in the mail from Vital Choice. Uh, Vital Choice is a place that um, I've been shopping for a few years now. Um, I like Vital Choice because uh, they provide like sustainable seafood, um, sustainable wild caught seafood. And um, one of the things, you know, that I don't like is farm raised, you know, fish or, you know, shellfish or anything like that. Um, it's actually not healthy for you. You know, if that's the only alternative that you have, um, obviously you just want to take care and like reading the labels, uh, making sure, you know, that, you know, you get information about where the product came from or, you know, what if there's any additional like ingredients in it. But for me, I just prefer fresh wild seafood. And one of the things I think um, people try to get you know away with is they will coin like, uh, you know, seafood like organic or something. Um, sustainably, seafood can be sustainably sourced if it's wild caught. It cannot be organic. So, um, you know, when I kind of learned that, you know, just kind of not reading into or falling into every like label trap because like I think legally there are no um, real labeling requirements for putting every single item that's listed, you know, or that's inside of food. Uh, at least that's what I've, you know, read, but when it comes down to, you know, seafood, um, I'm very big on quality. Um, like I said, just overall, the general quality of our food, I try to get us like the best quality foods as possible, but seafood is something I do not play with. Um, I will not eat like farm raised salmon. Um, you know, I don't like eating farm raised shrimp, you know, occasionally I'm sure they get snuck into like my plates at times um, which is another reason I'm a little like more cautious about uh, eating you know and from different people um, it's not you know it's not personal it's just really about my food preferences and you know everyone may not be set up to uh, you know those kinds of luxuries the way that I I'm able to set myself up for or you know that I prefer to set myself up for you know I will sacrifice and cut out some other stuff for me to have quality food that's again my personal preference so the place I order from is vital choice um, their food is actually really really good you know you can tell that it's wild caught fresh like seafood and I've been ordering from there for years so one of the things um, that came today we had actually gotten a package last week where we got some like fresh salmon some fresh salmon burgers um, some like ahi like yellowfin um, is it ahi tuna yellowfin tuna um, tuna steaks and today like the non-perishables came so I actually ordered some like sustainably sourced like albacore tuna uh, I actually do enjoy like the albacore tuna over the um, the regular like tuna with the dark meat and I was looking for, um, you know, more sustainably sourced tuna. And, you know, that really just boils down to like the fishing practices and, you know, how, um, how the, the, the fish are treated, you know, when they're being caught. So, you know, I'm hoping that this is really good. Um, it's definitely, you know, uh, a step up from like uh, bumblebee tuna. And I probably will not shy away from eating bumblebee tuna because, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes you just need something and you can't always wait, you know, for a shipment or, you know, you may not be ready to make a purchase. And, you know, if you need it, you need it. But that is something I'm going to open up and um, we're going to be able to try out, you know, for the first time. So I'm actually really excited about that because I'm looking for, like I said, you know, just healthier, um, more quality foods for us to eat. Um, what I notice is when I eat better, you know, I actually feel better. 
Um, I'm not, when I actually eat better and I eat regularly, meaning, you know, I eat my like three meals, I'll have like my, my actual like two snacks for the day. Um, I'm not actually craving, you know, that negative junk food or, you know, those additional like, oh, I want ice cream or chocolate or potato chips or, you know, whatever that, that interim junk food is that, you know, I typically go to when I'm missing a meal or I'm lacking something in my nutrients. So those cravings tend to get cut out, which is, which I'm starting to be more conscious of and I'm making a more concerted and conscious effort to ensure that I'm eating properly, you know, I'm eating breakfast, I'm eating lunch, I'm eating dinner, and that I'm getting wholesome uh, ingredients within that. So let me open the box, guys, and I will show you the actual tuna. So inside the, um, like the Vital Choice package, um, this is the packaging that they come in. It has a little, uh, like fish here, um, on the, uh, box you can see it says Vital Choice Wild Seafood and Organics. Um, they do have like some organic products, but you know, typically the things that would be organic, I don't actually eat that, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but essentially what I ended up buying was solid white albacore tuna, all natural, pack, nothing added. This is a vital choice for your well-being. Um, it's rich in omega-3s and AAFA Pacific Albacore Tuna. That is the only thing that is in here. Um, I don't know what AAFA is. Uh, they have it listed on their website. I don't remember, but essentially it's the tuna inside of its own juice. No salt added, no anything else added. Um, sustainably caught uh, these. This pack comes with six cans. I ordered the six can, uh, 6.75 ounce, I believe six ounce so six ounce um six cans and this cost 49 dollars so i think i'm going to look forward to actually trying these and if i do like them i think what i will do for the um the next go round is i will uh you know take the 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 extra money and get the the 12 can option um, because the the more you buy the the more you save per can and that way I won't necessarily have to order this you know like every month or every other month um, I'm not eating tuna a ton but I definitely intend to eat it a little bit more with um, just the overall change in the diet um, Aaron actually likes to eat tuna as well you know when he makes his salads and for him uh, he actually likes to pour a whole can in his salad um, along with like some boiled egg so that you know it's something that's filling to him um, it's nutrient rich you know it has a lot of protein in it the protein will help keep him full and he won't feel like he's like starving you know just because he's eating a salad so if he intends to do one can of these per salad um, you know I'm definitely gonna have to look at uh, getting the the larger uh, selection so that you know it can be a better value for what we for our intended uses so yeah so that's everything guys um, I know that was a lot to go through but it's funny because like I love I love watching food hauls on YouTube and that's like my go-to like type of video so you know, I hope that people find this interesting. I'm talking about food. Like, I love watching food hauls. Um, but, you know, I also you know I like to see, you know, what other people are doing, especially for, like, individuals that, you know, may be um, health conscious and or, you know, maybe, you know, you're working on a specific budget or how you maximize, you know, your food options on your intended budget. Um, I definitely like to look at those kinds of things. Uh, you probably will not really often see me do any like massive you know food hauls where the ones that i'm attracted to are like people that spend like a thousand dollars on food a month um i like to watch them because um i'm just like extremely like intrigued by the amount of food that they um buy or have to buy but you know i i likely will not um ever really have anything like that massive like I said it's just the two of us um, secondly we just don't have that kind of space uh, and I'm not cooking every day to need that much food in my house 
So I hope that um, you guys actually enjoyed this. I uh, hope you enjoyed, you know, traveling with us for the past two days. And I'm actually going to um, wrap up for this moment and get the rest of this stuff away. And then I'm going to relax a little bit so that uh, I can allow my body its time to, you know, just rest. So uh, we will catch you in the next travel.